Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a travel trailer that has a garage in the front bunk area. This is the 2021 Keystone Outback Model 324CG. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer toy hauler and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the World's Toy Channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at the open range at the uh, Keystone Outback <laughs> toy hauler. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good. Super excited to take a look at this. It's not your traditional toy hauler per se, but it's like a travel trailer with a garage up front. Yep, exactly. The bunk room kind of converts. Yeah. We're sorry a little bit about the noise. We do work in an RV dealership. <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin. Model is 324CG, but the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 37 feet 4 inches. The dry weight is 7,770 pounds. And will the hitch weight? 870 pounds. Now, listen, that's the hitch weight the way it stands now. Two things. One, always get weight distribution bars, but you're going to want to upgrade to the heavy duty weight distribution bars because whatever yes. you load up front that is going to add to your tongue weight a lot make sure you be careful guys when you tow right up here because it's an outback we do have the uh auto leveling this flips up and you can control that we do have two 20 pound propane tanks that go right here it is prepped for 30 and then your batteries go right there this because this is an outback we do have a fully molded one piece fiberglass front cap it's painted, it looks fantastic. In this we have the black Darko material. And, sorry about the tractor. <laughs> and the reason why I call it a fiberglass front cap is because when you look at this trailer here, you see how the side wall meets the front wall and there's this little piece of trim? Well, on an Outback, the side wall actually ends here and it caps over making it a front cap. It's less likely to leak that way, okay? Coming down the side here, look at this. Very cool ramp door. Okay, so if you have a lower profile vehicle, you can flip that out and do it that way as well. And then check that out. Ain't that cool? That's cool. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? All right. So no patio with this, is that correct? No, no patio. Okay. It's only for a ramp door. Okay. Coming down the side here, look at this. Nice power awning, huge awning with LED lights. I love that. Because this is a Keystone, you got the three-year warranty on it, three-year structural warranty. And then it does have the Arctic Barrier Package, which is a heated and closed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks. Very nice. And you do have these aluminum fold-up steps here. You also have speakers on the outside here. Oh. And look, they, they're doing the lights on the side of the awnings. Oh, yeah. I feel like Keystone's doing that for all their products now, right? I don't know about all of it, but it seems like it. Well, I think I'm only seeing those on the Keystone stuff. So. Yeah, maybe. Coming down the side here, look at these tires, Will. They're the Chandler Kings. They are the uh, ST225-75R15. Very nice. We got your key TV control system out here. In case you do want to have an outdoor television. Coming down the side. We have another door to the bedroom area. I love that. It's a private enclosed bedroom that we'll show you in a little bit. And I love how there's a second doorway to it. Coming around the back, we have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Right there's your 50 amp power uh, plug-in right there. It is prepped for a Furion backup camera on the back. Furion backup camera right there. Also, we do have a ladder to get up on the one-piece TPO roof. Let's go, take a look. Here we go now. All right, up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice radius roof, really big. One piece TPO roof. 
We have one air conditioning in it. Right there's your WineGuard 360 digital antenna. It is prep, is that for solar? Yeah, it is prep for solar up here. And then you do have places to put your Max Air fans. Here we go now. I don't know why, I like the ladders on the other side. Do you? For some reason. Ugh. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What did RV salesman go take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Absolutely nobody. Dang, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely positively. Coming down the side here, we do have the cable driven slide out system. Okay, wow, pretty decent exterior storage right yeah. there. I'm not gonna lie. Let's close this up. Right here's your docking station. Outdoor shower, city water fill, tank fill, everything. Potable water fill. Potable, potable. And then right there's where you dump your black and gray tank. Cool. And then finishing up. Ah, it still has one of these, the vents. So if you can put something with gasoline in there. Probably shouldn't do that though, but you could. Well, Will, the outside of this toy hauler travel trailer, travel trailer with a garage looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. I'll meet you inside. Okay. No, come on up this way. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 you still gotta. Yeah, come on up. Quick, take a quick tour. Okay. And then we'll start up here. Got the kitchen and living area, dining area. Bathroom right there. And the bedroom here. Awesome. Getting started up here, Will. Look at this. This is so unique. You don't see this in anything. You don't. Outback's been doing this. And what's great about it is it's still a bunk bed area. Definitely. You have the bunks here. This bed actually flips up out of the way. You still have D-rings. That one does too, doesn't it? Oh, I didn't even know that. So cool. Now this top bunk, actually both beds only rated for 150 pounds. So be careful with that. That's one of the cons but you have D-rings here and everything, place to help vent it out. And then right here's where a TV can go. Cool, oh. And a little bit of pantry space. Cool. Inside the living room area. Okay. Alrighty then. Here's your entertainment center. You got some storage here and some storage there. Mm -hmm. I like this just to place stuff in. Huge TV, ginormous. We got a deep Jensen DVD player and a huge fireplace right there. And then over here is a weird selection of theater seats. Personally, oh, well. Comfortable. Yeah. I love this theater seat, but personally, I wouldn't have gone with the theater seats in here because the TV's at a weird angle. You have to turn your head. Very weird. I do love the theater seats. You got Can your cup swap holder it? here. Yeah, I think so. Hopefully. Hopefully. Where, there, where there's a will, there's a way. And there's a will right there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, very nice. Over here, we got the windows with the privacy blinds. Oh my, privacy <laughs> blinds. Privacy blinds. Sometimes my worst slur. And uh, just a very nice seating area. And then over here is the dinette. This dinette does drop down to make a bed. This table looks different. I'm not, I don't love it, I don't hate it. What, what do you think this is? It's not wood, it's, it's a fake wood, but. It looks good. Kind of like an Art Deco wood. Yeah, Art Deco. Very comfortable table. You got the window right here that does open for a nice breeze. And then look at right there, you do have the USB right there. Yep. Well, Will, it's now time for the MSRP. 
MSRP on this travel trailer here is $45,032. That's not bad. That's MSRP. Sale price, as you can see right here, we don't currently have a sale price, but you're not paying $45,000, I can tell you that. You will be getting a discount on it. And here's the best way to get the best price in America. Will, you ready for this? Yeah. To, we got to tell everybody to go to mattsrvreviews.com. That's right. That's the website. Go down to the contact form, and you'll see how many tabs, Will? Three. Three tabs. First tab is if you're ready to buy. Click that tab, fill out that form, and somebody from my team at General RV will contact you to get you... The best price in America. <clears throat> Mm, yeah. Mm. Burr, 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 burr. Option two is just uh, if you're not ready to buy, but you're close, and you just have some conversations that you need to talk to either Will or myself, click that tab, and Will and I will get back to you in about how long, Will? Within 24 hours, Within for sure. Within 24 hours, Guaranteed. for sure. We'll call you, text you, email you, or FaceTime you, whatever works best for you. And then option three is like you're not really ready to buy, no problem with that, and you just want to contact you. We don't answer that one as often as the first two. You can understand why. Also, join us on Facebook on Club Art Deco. That's right. That's the best way. Regardless on where you're at in the stages of the purchase, we're here to help you get the best price in America. Well, let's continue the video. All right. That one was a little rocky, I must say. <laughs> it'll, it'll smooth out over time. Yep. And my burp, 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 sorry. My voice is going away. Yeah. I need some hot tea with honey. <laughs> All right. In the kitchen. Yes. Good amount of storage up top here. Uh huh. And coming over along the side, you have a wine rack up top. Yep. With this, I'm gonna call it the something is missing microwave. Missing. Uh, and they spelt missing wrong. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. No, I'm you'd just never do something like that. Would you? <laughs> I would never do anything like that. That's funny. All right. Uh, nice Furion hood range. Yep. And with a little light and fan. And then I do like this backsplash actually. It's a lot. clean. It is. It's yeah. clean. Um, you have a nice Art Deco faucet there. That is a very Art Deco faucet, mm -hmm. I must say. One, so our single bowl sink with the little cover on the top here. Yep. Solid surface countertops. Yes, sir. They continued the Furion down with the three burner Furion cooktop and uh, stove. Ooh, or, I mean, an oven. blue. With the lights. Storage underneath you. Oh, oh, Will, that's an $83 trash can. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and drawers here. Yep. And there is one more oh, okay. thing right there. Then we have the GE refrigerator. Com compressor compressor fridge. refrigerator. And they get cold so fast, y'all. Yep. Already getting cold. Already getting cold. I Perfect. That's it. So uh, something I would like to add, well, there's yep. pantry space back there, oh, cool. but I like the doors with what they're doing with the colors. Yeah. Very nice. Very interesting. So more of closet space here. Yep. Or pantry space, however you want to use it. And I like how they're not, yeah. don't have the in command. in command. I think the in command's stupid. You want to do the tall test? It's now time for the tall test. Oh, there's a little bit of freeze in here. Oh, well, don't step on it. Oh. It's gonna follow me. That's okay. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Stand in the corner. <laughs> All right, got a little bit of antifreeze. Pretty good for a travel is, trailer. Yeah. Actually, a pretty decent size, I must say. Definitely, yeah. All right, come on out. Okay. Don't get antifreeze everywhere. Nice. Good job. We're having a little bit of a rough day, aren't we? Yeah. It's all good. We got medicine cabinets up there. We're trying our best. That's all we can do. <laughs> More cabinetry. That's right. Sink right there. Sink with some pink in it. So people might be wondering, there's a lot of antifreeze here. Uh, we are in Ohio. Yeah. So the, hope they, they actually double antifreeze their stuff to where they all come antifreeze from the factory. They do it uh, another once over from here at General. Uh, down in Florida, we don't we don't need to put our eyes <laughs> in Florida. Um, here's a porcelain toilet right here. I feel like you need to shut the door. Yeah, please. 
Okay. Passes barely. Barely, huh? Barely. 50% passing. Just like me in high school? Yep, 50 per D minus, <laughs> but it passed. It's a prime poop position. Bing! And then look at this. Wow. This is fantastic. Huge king size bed in a travel trailer. Big radius roof. Oh, something I would like to add. For those of you who don't know, Will is six foot three. Yeah. And well, this travel trailer this does have a great. really. Yeah. I mean, you don't get this headspace on some fifth wheels. Right. Uh, in the bedroom area. We got storage over here. We got some drawers down here. Very nice. Key TV. More right here. Very nice. Very nice. And drawers. And then this king bed. I know it's going to raise up. Oh, and your bedroom's underneath. Your what? Your bedroom. No, that's not my bedroom. That's Yuna's bedroom. <laughs> but yes, there's a dog kennel thing right there. That's not what Andrea told me. Oh. She said Yuna's right there. Oh, and <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Um, yeah, dog kennel right there. I don't quite understand what they were doing with that because I'm not putting my dog under there. <laughs> I love my dog. <laughs> maybe maybe we'll put Max under there. Yeah. Uh, right over there, we got more storage and the windows. And I like and I like what they're doing behind that. Yeah. And, nice then, and then look at that, like a <laughs> towel holder or coat holder or something. Yep. Very nice. And, and it's nice. Don't forget the door. Yes. This is the second door. Other side to the second door. And as nice as it is, Will, and as great as it is, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about the Outback Toy Hauler Travel Trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we like? Okay, I'm going to go first. Okay. You kind of just ruined it, but Did I? I like the double doors. Yeah. I like how you have your own door to your bedroom, and then there's another door to living room. Yep. If you want to stay out late, you know, whatever, you can do that, and you can just come straight in the bed. Nobody needs to walk through your bedroom. Put the kids to sleep and sit by the campfire for the night. I love it. That's a great thing. Yep. So that's one. Two. All right, I'm going to go to the other side. You shaking a little? Yep. All right, I just really like the, I guess you could call it versatility of this room. Yes. I mean, it's just really cool. The only thing... You'd have to be careful of it they just did linoleum flooring in here. Oh, uh, yeah, you don't want to scrape that up. Yeah, so you don't want to do too much damage to that. But, you know, the fact that you can have... I mean, it's a nice room for kids to sleep in. Yep. Uh, it doesn't feel like the garage, but as you're driving down the road, you know, you have somewhere to put an ATV or a motorcycle or a dirt bike or whatever. Yep. And the cool thing is, too, it's a travel trailer, so you have the bed of your truck free, too. Oh, yeah. I so, love it. But then at night, you know, you flip this down, make it the kids' room, and uh, good to go. Perfect. So that's that's two, and then I have a number three. Okay. I'm going to combo it. I love the doors. Yeah. I love, I love the look that they did here in the Outback, and I love how tall the ceilings are. Right. It's crazy to think we're in a travel trailer. Right. But this tall ceiling is great for somebody like Will. Yep. Great, so that's three things we love about it. Now, it's time for three things we dislike about this travel trailer. You ready for me to go first? Sure. I 100% agree with you. I love this area. I do not like how both bunks only hold 150 pounds. Yeah. You know, I'd be okay if this top bunk only held 150, but this bottom bunk should hold more, and it doesn't. Yeah. And it's just a, a, an utter disappointment to me. So that's one. Two. All right, coming outside. Coming outside. What are those? What are those? <laughs> what are they doing? I mean, come on, at this price point, Outback's supposed to be kind of the higher end travel trailer line. Yep. Get solid steps. Get Don't solid steps. 100% agree. And that kind of adds to my second point. Okay. Uh, we can't show it, but the fact that there's only one AC unit on an Outback right. when there should be two, now listen, if this, was, if this was an Outback Ultralight, I'm fine with one. This is a huge travel trailer, y'all. Yep. You need two AC units. You do. Especially with this garage, the fact of the matter is any any, um, 
any air conditioning that goes into this garage is going to mm -hmm. escape as soon as you open this. So you definitely want to have two AC units. But I think we did forget to mention you can't add the second one. Well, of course you can add it. I mean, it is prepped for it. But I don't want to add it for... Oh, I know. Nice. I want it to come standard. That's how easy it is to close it. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. In a few seconds, we're going to have other travel trailer toy haulers show up on the screen right here. Definitely check out the video. But at the same time, there is nothing like this on the market today. Right. Only Outback does it. If you guys have any questions about this travel trailer or any other RV, please contact us directly by going to mattsrvreviews.com and clicking one of the three tabs. And if you're not a member of Club Art Deco, make sure you join us on Facebook. That's the best way to connect with me, Andrea, and Will. Um, also, we do have a second channel called Matt's RV Reviews. It's called Matt's RV Reviews. That's our motorhome channel. Make sure you check that one out and subscribe to that as well. Will, do you have anything you want to say? Sure. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Hope you liked it. Hope you liked the versatility of this. And um, make sure to leave in the comments below three things you liked and didn't like. Um, I've said it before. Keystone's always watching, looking to improve, and they're watching our videos and reading the comments so they'll be listening to you and they won't make improvements without you the rv review crew that's right thank you guys so much for watching well we got the videos right there right here yep cool great thanks so much will we'll see you next time